Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rick from ProSlipex.com back at you. This time we're talking about how to extend a video so that your background video plays all the way through instead of cutting off. And I offered one technique and there's been a couple of others offered, but they, I got a request that uh, to make a video because some people say they learn better by seeing than just by reading because they're not sure about all the concepts. So what I thought I would do is put together a video and come up with some stats on what I have found using both techniques and uh, which one you use after that is up to you. But to, f to frame this whole experiment here, we're only going to use one scene, even though the scene may have a couple of frames in it. Now what this is right here is a, you know, a monitor with transparency in the middle right and you can see that I had to make the monitor a little bit bigger because I'm playing a karaoke video behind here and some of the words get cut off at the bottom if I didn't expand it so this is what the monitor actually looks like but when you close the frame you'll see that you only see in the border otherwise some of the words would get cut off and you know that's just so you can see that this actually works now the karaoke video is 3 minutes 22 seconds so I'm going to first show you my technique and then I'm going to introduce you to the object technique. Now I'm going to explain my technique and then I'll show it to you. Basically what I do is this. I put my main video in the scene background, right? So that video is supposed to play all the way through. Now I have the video in here and the problem here is that the, the longest action you can create here is 20 seconds see right there and then so action duration 20 seconds so that means since I have it at nothing um, that action duration just plays the video but in 20 seconds it's gonna stop because there's no more time now if I slide this pause after action over then it'll give me another 20 seconds so that's a total of 40 seconds and then the same thing over here so that's a total of 80 seconds alright so that's not gonna work for me because I want to you know have the whole 3 minute and 22 second video play right okay so what I did which I thought was just the simplest way to do it would be to put the same video in here on the canvas but off the screen because you know everything happens one after the other right so this screen is gonna pop up it has nothing as the before action so it just is there right and I thought that um, adding the same video here means that this video is going to have to play all the way through before the next action happens. So if this video is the same as the one in the background, then that means the whole video will play without issue. So I go in here and get the same video I use for the karaoke uh, experiment. And that's this one right here. I don't sketch it, add it. And then after I add it, I slide it off the screen so you can't see it. And the beauty of this is that this video and the video in the background are the same. They're the same length. So now with just this one operation, I can close the canvas and the whole thing plays all the way through. And so what I'll do is I'll play 30 seconds of it. And also if you notice right up here, uh, I'll show you my calculations in a minute, but it's, it says 202.9 seconds. That's 3 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, and uh, which is a whole lot of frames. So let me stop this and let me take you to my math to show you why I came up with this this way. Okay, so the, lo the length of the karaoke song is 3 minutes 22 seconds, right? So just to break the math down, <clears throat> We're operating at 24 frames per second. So 24 frames per second times 60 seconds is uh, 1440 frames. So the three minute 22 second video actually occupies 4,848 frames or 202.9 seconds. Now the issue with using text or a picture or something like that to time it out and just add multiple ones that have counted up 
is that the maximum frames you can use on an object is 999. And uh, so it would take, for the three, three minute, 22 second video, it would take five objects at 99, 999 frames each to get the same three minute, 22 seconds. And you know, that might be uh, the way you want to do it. But if the video three minutes, 22 seconds, and the one I put on the stage is three minutes, 22 seconds, then, you know, one object does it for me because it's, I mean, it's the same video, right? And if you add any additional time, like if you fade the transparency object in or something like that, then that is additional time on top of everything. And if you're trying to make this work, if you just have one scene that does all this and you create a new scene, your whole video, I sat here before I made this video and watched the whole karaoke. And by the way, no, I'm a karaoke DJ, but I do not sing. You don't want to hear this. <laughs> anyway, um, that's, that's what worked for me. Now, for those that uh, would rather do the um, objects, okay, so I'm going to use text. So I'm going to add uh, one piece of text. I'll put it over here. Let me go out here and set the text to nothing, okay? And I'm not going to even use this duration out here. I'm going to go back in here and use the add animation because that's the easiest way to add time to this stuff because I can only get 40 seconds out there. So between here and here, I wanted, I need to do 4,840 frames, right? Watch what happens. The 999 is the maximum amount. So in order to make it work, I had to do one more and then make this 999. Sound like Herman Cain, huh? And then uh, one more. And let's see, 999, because I can't do any more. If I try to put 1,000 in there, or maybe try 1,200, 999, see? Herman Cain will be proud. One more. And... Okay, now we have our time. So now if I go out here, I'm going to still get the same result. See now, but see up here it says 165.5 seconds. So that means I have to go back in there and add some, add one more. So let me click on this top one, add one more, 999. And bring these a little bit closer together because they're getting out of hand. This is why I only use the one video because I mean the video, Matt, I mean it's the same video. so. One's not going to play longer than the other one. They're both going to start at the same time. So now we have 208.1 seconds. And the total I have is 202. So I guess you can reduce some frames to kind of get it just right or whatever the case might be. So that's that's the other way to do it. So you don't have to worry about this stuff out here because you only want to get 20 seconds here and 20 seconds here. You're only going to get 20 seconds here and 20 seconds here. So uh, 80 seconds total, but you need 202.9, but this one is 208, so still serve the same purpose. So I just wanted to show uh, the two different techniques for making this work. And for those that like my other screenshot, this is the math that I used in order to make it work. 24 frames per second, 60 seconds is uh, 1400 frames. Three minutes, 22 seconds is 48, 48 frames. 3 minutes and 22 seconds also rounds out to 202.9 uh, seconds. Maximum frames on any object is 999. So in order to get 3 minutes 22 seconds, you got to have 4.85 objects at 999. So that means that the fifth object needs to be less than 999. Uh, and, you know, so you can just work that out. But this is just, you know, comparing the two methods, uh, not claiming one is better than the other. I prefer just taking the same background video and putting it on the uh, canvas. Then that way I only have one object there and I and I know what I'm dealing with, you know. So uh, I can delete this, add a video, which is the same karaoke video as, as one that's playing under the background. Give it a minute to vectorize. And then I'll just put this 
off the stage. So now with this one object, the, which is the same video as the one in the background, I'm good. You know, it's going to play all the way through because they're the same. You know, so um, there might be some other reason for using an object or whatever. You know, actually, if you timed it out properly, you could have one of those items later down in the video to kind of fly into the screen or across the screen or something. You know, I mean, that's if, if that appeals to you or whatever. But if all I want to do is just play this video all the way through, then putting one copy in the background and then putting another copy out here on the stage, same video, it plays all the way through. So that's it for me today. Now, what I'm going to do, you can stop the video right now if you just want to try this for yourself. But what I'm going to do as a proof of concept is I'm going to play this video all the way through so you can see that it actually works. Here we go. Have it. The whole thing played all the way through. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day.